Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Monday's edition of Upper Michigan Today. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Tia, how was your weekend? How are you this morning? I'm good. I'm two thumbs up. How are you? Two thumbs up? I'm good. You cleaned up your coffee spill from this morning. I did. I'm dry. I'm, I'm glad. feeling good. I'm glad. Yeah, mm -hmm. we had quite a morning. <laughs> I spill my coffee almost every morning. Every, well, it's because you drive to work like this. I, I know. <laughs> I don't like, so obviously, like, I have the covered thermal things, mm -hmm. but I don't like the way they make the coffee taste. Is that I agree. Weird? No, okay. I totally agree with the metal, yes, the metal coffee cups. it changes cups. it. Mm -hmm. So I, I always have to have a coffee mug, yeah. but then it always results in a spill. But you don't usually spill because you have your holiday with a nice top. Mm -hmm. But I always <laughs> start with like the first five minutes. I keep the lid off to let the let it cool down a little bit, yeah. and I didn't put the lid all, all the way back on. So, But just for reference, it's very quiet in here in the mornings. It's 4 a.m., <laughs> and we're just kind of in our, our zone trying to wake up, and Tia sits right next to me. And she just starts screaming at the top of her I lungs. Did, that's, I did not scream at the top of my lungs. I want one of those red flag things so okay. I can be like, red, you know the, do you know that commercial? Where replay. Like, yeah, the replay, because yeah, you did. Okay. I well. almost peed my pants. It was intense. I'm a little that bit dramatic. It was the dramatic. morning. It woke me up, though. <laughs> and we were all in. But and we, it wasn't even hot, either. It was just dramatic. <laughs> you are dramatic. <laughs> and everything worked out okay. So I'm glad, I'm glad you made it through that. I'm glad we all made it through that. Yeah, thank you yeah, for yeah, bearing yeah. with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a look outside. This is downtown Marquette. Cloudy. It's chilly. It's really windy yeah. this morning. Chilly, gray. Yeah. Some warm-ups this week, though, so I'm not too mad. I, Jennifer said 80s in some isolated <gasps> spots, and so I got very excited, and I said, are you talking about, like, here? <laughs> she was like, no, out west. Get your, she said, like, get your hiking boots on. I said, no, I want to get my swimsuit. Yeah, me too. But. Uh, those that's uh, kind of middle of the week later of the week later in the week I'm just like not I didn't get enough beach days I'm still anxious to like maybe try to cr grab a couple more I know me too me yeah too. I went swimming th thrice 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 she went, went thrice. swimming thrice times she thrice swam. have I went swimming this summer <laughs> I'm swimming in more pools this summer yeah what's up with that yeah weird I know. when we have this big beautiful body of water so we silly. were just talking about how maybe this winter we're gonna ice plunge yeah, together I'll try it every day I remember I did the the ice whatever that challenge was called oh yeah, when you yeah, jump yeah. into the lake superior and it was 95 percent frozen to over raise stuff. money for something yeah. or awareness for something mm -hmm. yeah and you did that back in the day yeah yeah but that's the only cold plunge ever they really taken yeah I'm just texting you friends okay popular let's move on <laughs> okay okay let's move on <laughs> um did you happen to catch any football yesterday i did because i do have a b huge packer fans in the household so. okay oh my god I'm tell sorry. them to stop okay, i'm sorry i'm gonna put i don't know why it's vibrating so loudly um Okay, so you watched the Packer game. I heard the Packer game a little bit. You heard it. You were you were. Resting. I came out of the room for snacks and stuff, <laughs> so I caught some of the game. Got you. All I know is that it's a it's a bummer for both the teams. Yes. Well, when we're talking obviously about the Packers and the Lions, mm -hmm. uh, the Packers played really well in the first half. Mm -hmm. Fell apart in the second half, and uh, they ended up losing twenty five to four. Um, so close game, good game. Mm -hmm. Twenty five to twenty four. Tw what did I say? Twenty five to four. <laughs> yeah kind of a big difference <laughs> um, and, then, and then the Lions um, they played the Seahawks and it was a it was a really great game it went into overtime and um, the Lions lost in overtime and it was real sad if you're a Lions fan like me it's just I mean it was a great game right uh -huh. and it was the home opener in Detroit and so there was a lot of excitement and um, they still have a lot of uh, good things happening and they're just building buildings so they're gonna make those corrections and keep her going but mm. it was a, it was a fun Sunday football Sunday we had like lots of TVs and things happening and lasagna oh and just felt good I, you know, I, I ordered I ordered Van Gogh's I never changed out of my pajamas I had pa I have Packers pajamas even though I'm not <laughs> a person personally a football fan but I you know I'm surrounded by Packers fans yeah so so I was in the football Sunday spirit yeah well that's fun. as much as I can it is a nice way to spend a Sunday yeah. I can't I can't help but I do enjoy it um, um all right but then on Saturday yes on Saturday where you were not I was at the NMU tailgate mm -hmm. sponsored by TV6 um you you needed a rest because you've had a lot of things going on but oh, a bunch of us from the station went to the tailgate it was really fun they had a really good turnout it was the first year that they've done this and so it was in the back of the dome and um a lot of uh people and green and gold and all that good stuff and then the band took the field um for halftime so that's what you see there on the left side is the alumni band and then on the right side is the current band and it was about 300 members in total that 
played at halftime. It sounded so good. I absolutely just, I loved it. But we have to show you two key pieces. This, you know, you know yeah, this, this guy. Yeah, this is Michael Sobeck. This is Michael Sobeck, and he plays the alto sax. And um, he was so into it. You know, the band does a lot of swinging of the horns when they mm -hmm. play, and they have like all these movements, yeah. and it's choreographed. Even when they're just standing still, they're still like bopping their mm -hmm. heads and doing. The he was so into it. It was so fun to watch. He's very animated. And then on the flip side, we have our station manager Rick Rhodes. Look at him. Look at that smile. Oh my smile. gosh! I saw videos of this, and I. Shut up out of my seat. Oh. I said, Rick Rhodes plays the trumpet? <laughs> How come I yes, didn't know about he this? Yes, he does. He did not do the choreographed swinging like Michael did, but he showed up, he marched so well, and he it was just a blast to go and support him, and we stayed through halftime, and um, the, the, the dome was full. I, I mean, that's a big facility mm -hmm. uh, for the Upper Peninsula, and I, I don't think I've ever seen so many people in the dome for a game, mm. so that was really nice to see. Um, so, anyway, fun. Yeah, the so band was kind of the highlight for me that day. So the dome was filled, but then also Mar Marquette was <sighs> pretty packed too. It was so packed because the Margie Gessick? Gessick. Gessick. Okay, well, there's been so much debate about this name. We've talked to Todd Paquette about it, mm -hmm. and he loves that we just say it, but yeah. I like to call it just the Margie because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people at this point know it as now. the Margie. Yeah, so the Margie was happening this weekend. So downtown was packed, and you know, people come from around the world to do this race. It is kind of been declared the hardest course ever. Hmm. A lot of people enter it and they don't even finish. Like the goal for a lot of people is just to get to the finish line because it's hmm. so challenging. So um, people will come, they won't make it, they'll try to get in it again. And they, they only allow so many people. So it's, it's hard to get into mm -hmm. in the first place. And then once you're in it, it's, it's just such a feat. So you can, from what I understand, you can run 100 miles, you can ride 100 miles, you can run 50, ride 50. Um, and it takes you through some of the roughest terrain in the Upper Peninsula. Um, incredible. Oh, that's pretty cool. Incredible. Yeah. Don't know so, that I'd be running 100 miles anytime soon. I mean, let's face it. You, didn't wanna, you don't want to sign up for this with me? Like, do you want to try the 50-mile ride next year? If I get Todd Paquette to, to loan us a bicycle? I can't even run <laughs> seven miles. Or it's one day, for that matter, let alone bike 100. I'm always trying to get you to do something crazy with I me. I know you are. Okay, one check. thing at a time. We'll I know. We've got to take it slow. Take it slow. We still have other things. We still have other goals we haven't accomplished that we still have to somehow redeem. I know, but one goal that we are going to accomplish, yes. Elizabeth, is the expansion of Upper Michigan today. <laughs> so we're officially one month away from that. And that the show is going to an hour. Mark your calendars for October 16th because that is the day that we will have our very first hour long episode and we want to know what do you want to see? What, what don't you want to see? <laughs> right, what, what have you had enough of? What are you like, you I wish they'd stop talking about that. Yeah, so if you have a story idea, so this could be specific guests, businesses, people, or segment ideas, so overarching topics yeah. that you know we could dive into on a weekly basis, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. send them to us because we want to know. We, we want this show to be you know, this, this is about everybody. It's about the community of the Upper Peninsula, and we're only two people. Right. So we, our brains can only do so much thinking. And we kind of need your help, right? Like, yeah. this is a big undertaking for you and I. Um, our morning um, videographer, Robert, is going to be helping a lot more with the show, so that's really exciting. He'll mm -hmm. be producing and helping us out. But, you know, it's, it is a big undertaking, and... You know, it's kind of one of those things like, be careful what you wish for, mm -hmm. because we wanted it to be an hour so bad, and now it is an hour. And we're like, oh, that's a lot of work. Okay. Yeah. So we have a lot of brainstorming to do, and we have so many ideas, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I, I feel like our idea bank is huge, but that's if we had unlimited amount of time. And yet resources. Exactly. So. And that, you know, so we are faced with that as well, because obviously we both do the morning news, mm. and so it's kind of trying to juggle and figure it out. But I'm excited to be able to talk even more in depth with people, have multiple guests on, and um, I think it really opens up some really neat opportunities for the show and for Upper Michigan and for all of you. But yeah, we want your ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. so we uh, we welcome anything. Send us messages on Facebook, send us emails, and we look forward to reading about them. Yeah, we've I'm got okay. some work to do. Yeah, but uh, we are carrying on with our show today. We have a very special show. We are talking about alopecia awareness because September is Alopecia Awareness Month. And we have one woman, Heather Wesley, joining us in the studio to talk about about her personal experience and mission to expand the awareness across the Upper Peninsula. We'll be right back. 